This past Monday, South Carolina observed Confederate Memorial Day. Confederate Memorial Day is a state holiday observed by Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Mississippi, North Carolina, Texas, Virginia, Tennessee, and South Carolina. I took the opportunity to stop by the Confederate Relic Room to get a closer look at some history on the Confederacy. I spoke with Kayla Harmon over at the museum. The South Carolina Confederate Relic Room and Military Museum is South Carolina's military history museum. So uh, the museum was started right after the Civil War by uh, women who ultimately would become a United Daughters of the Confederacy group. But the uh, museum covers all of South Carolina's military history. So we currently do everything beginning with the Revolutionary War. Uh, obviously we do coverage through on through the Civil War. We cover the Spanish-American War. Any conflict that South Carolinians were involved in, we represent. Okay, tell me some of the features of the museum. Well, right now we are running um, two major exhibits. We've got a photography exhibit that is the first Vietnam War photography exhibit that South Carolina has uh, seen. So this war, or this exhibit is particularly interesting because it actually features images of photographers who were either killed, captured, or missing during Vietnam. The other exhibit that we're featuring right now is World War I, and we're highlighting actually the stories of African Americans and women, as well as other South Carolinians who served on the front lines of that war. Now it's uh, the reason we're here today is because it's kind of a unique day. This right. is the Confederate Memorial Holiday. Yes. Tell me about the ongoing Confederate display. Well, what we've got in, in the main gallery, we have actually the largest collection of Civil War flags in the country, actually. Um, we've got Civil War flags that look like what you generally think, the St. Andrew's Cross, the Stars and Bars. But uh, we have a, a wide array of, of flags that really have a lot of different looks and feels to them. You know, most of them do have the palmetto tree on them in some shape, form, or fashion. Some of them will have a shield of arms. Some of them are blue, pink pink, green, uh, so they have a lot of different looks, but uh, we are obviously the Confederate Relic Room and Military Museum, so we do have a, a large collection of Civil War material that we do keep in our main gallery. Okay, tell me about some of the other displays in the main gallery outside of the flags. Well, we've got a couple of other things. Like I said, we do cover the Civil War pretty extensively. So we go through the beginning of the war. Uh, we've got a copy of the Ordinance of Secession, for example, uh, one of the few remaining that's available. We've got uh, some of the um, palmetto pins that people started to wear to show their patriotism to South Carolina and to the Confederacy as a whole. We've got some items that came from the front lines. You know, we've got a, a, a Bible in there with a bullet hole in it that came off of the field. We've got rifles, we've got swords, we've got sabers, we've got a, a lot of obviously military artifacts. We also have some artifacts from the home front and uh, a lot of people find those particularly interesting. Like the, the the hair jewelry, for example, or the homemade socks, or the homespun dresses, things like that that kind of reflect what the lifestyle was for the people who were left at home while soldiers went out to the fields. Okay, and Kelly, could you tell me what is the principal mission for the museum? The principal mission of this museum is to tell the stories of South Carolina's military history. We are actually the oldest history museum in the state and we're the third oldest uh, museum overall in the state. So we've been around for a long time, and I say that because the mission has changed over the years. When the museum initially started, it was to pay homage to Confederate soldiers who fought and died in the Civil War. And then, you know, World War I broke out, and the people who operated the museum felt like they needed to pay homage to those who fought and died in World War I, and so on so forth, until we've got today where our purpose, our mission is to recognize South Carolinians who fought on the war fronts for any sort of military conflict. You know, we've got a, a program right now called Right from the Front, where we're recognizing um, South Carolinians who are fighting in current conflicts, Iraq, Afghanistan, and so on and so forth. So our, our purpose is to be a place of honor and recognition for South Carolinians who have fought in any war. Okay, and if people want to find out more about the museum, 
times, uh, tour discounts, etc. How would they go about that? We can. They can find us online. Our website is www.crr.sc.gov. More mymetrotv.com on the way.